My name is Mark Moriarty and I'm the 2015 World Young Chef of the Year. So it's the eve of Christmas Eve and we're doing a fantastic little recipe, a real crowd pleaser, using some mash that I actually have left over from the night before. And this is a potato and parmesan croquette. So this is gonna be really, really crowd pleasing. So all I'm gonna do is into a bowl, I'm gonna take about half my mash, save that for something else. So I just get a good handful of salt in there. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get about half a block of parmesan. I'm gonna be really, really generous. So we're almost gonna go for about equal quantities of potato and parmesan. I'm gonna very, very carefully start to mix it together until the cheese emulsifies through the potato. So for the next stage, we're just gonna very simply roll and shape our croquettes. So I get a little bit of flour, sprinkle that over the board. That's just to make sure that our potato doesn't stick to anything. And now I'm gonna use a piping bag. These you can buy in any store nationwide. So, potato goes in. All I simply do is I close the bag and I just twist so that the potato comes right up to the top, like so. And then I cut the bag about two centimeters up. Then all I do very, very simply, just pushing with my right hand, I just guide the potato along until I achieve like a long sausage shape. And I just trim off the edges using a sharp knife and I just very gently roll the croquette mixture around in the flour just so it gets a nice coating. All I do then is I take one, two and three. I sprinkle a little tray and place my croquettes on top of the flour on the tray, keeping a nice shape. And again, all this can be done in advance of Christmas. So the next stage is to take our croquettes on the tray and we're gonna fire them in the freezer. So it's an hour later, we just take out the croquettes and during that hour what's happened is they've gone rock solid. You can hear from that. And the reason for that is we're going on to the next stage which is the panne stage and because they're frozen they're gonna hold their shape perfectly. So there's three stages to this panne stage. We have our flour, our egg, and our breadcrumb. So stage one, they go into the flour. From there then, we dust off the flour and we put them into our egg yolk. And we get them nicely covered in as much egg yolk as possible. So the, the egg yolk sticks to the flour, and then last but not least, they go into the breadcrumbs. And here the breadcrumbs stick to the egg yolk. So we get a nice even coating. As you can see, as the croquettes get coated, so do your fingers. So just make sure we wash our hands. And then we repeat the process one more time. And that's just for a little extra safety to make sure that they stay nice and solid when we fry them afterwards. So back into the flour, dust them off, and we repeat the process one more time. Give them a little touch up and our croquettes are ready to go. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna drop them into a fryer at 180 degrees. It's very, very important that the oil is nice and hot so it makes the breadcrumbs really crispy and it protects the lovely potato and parmesan interior. So after about a minute, the croquettes are lovely and golden brown. So just very gently take them out and that hot oil has fried the breadcrumbs and it's encased the lovely cheesy potato filling. So at this point, the only thing to do is to give them a quick blast in the oven and they'll be ready to eat. So our croquettes have come out of the fryer. I'm just gonna stick them in the oven. That oven's at 200 degrees. I'm gonna cook them for about three or four minutes. And they've just warmed through very nicely. And at that point, they're ready to go. So just layer them up on a serving platter. So that's finishing them. That's our really, really tasty potato and parmesan croquettes. So this is a, a fantastic, really, really rich, really tasty dish. And it's really gonna showcase potatoes as the centerpiece of your, of your dinner at Christmas. I'm using a rooster potato, and all I'm gonna do very, very simply is using a knife. Now I'm using a knife here, but you could use anything very simple. You could use a part of the blender, sometimes has an attachment to do this. So I'm just running my knife through, and as thin as possible. And that's what's, what's gonna happen then, is that they're gonna layer up in your casserole dish, and you're gonna get a lovely potato gratin. I'll just bring you over to here then, and I have a, a pot on the heat. So all I'm gonna to add to this is about a litre of milk. It goes in. 
followed by about half a litre of cream. So the cream is just going to make it lovely and indulgent. I'm going to add some chopped garlic. I'm not going to finely chop it too much. There's about one tablespoon gone in there. I'm going to add a good handful of salt into our liquid, and that's going to really bring out the flavour. Turn the heat up very, very high, so we want this to boil. Now just get our potatoes, and we're just going to fire that in there. The idea is you want all that lovely milk and cream to cover the potatoes. So as it comes up to the boil, you can get your smell of that lovely, lovely garlic. So I'm just going to bring in a small casserole dish. I'm doing a mini version here. Obviously at Christmas time, you have a big crowd around, you're going to use a large casserole dish. And very, very simple. All I do is I get our potatoes, and I very, very gently layer up the potatoes first. And I'm going to very carefully spoon over some of the sauce. And the last thing I do, just to add a little bit more indulgence on your Christmas day, is I just get a little bit of Parmesan cheese and just grate that very nicely over the top. So then I add it into the oven at 200 degrees. I'm going to cook that for about 45 minutes. It goes lovely and soft and golden brown, just like the large one that we've prepared earlier. And with that, you have your fantastic gratinated potato dough from Woz. And it's one of the indulgent dishes that will really showcase potatoes on Christmas day. We're just going to use a small casserole dish here. Obviously for large groups or at Christmas time you have a large family, you're going to use a big casserole dish. I also have a selection of uh, mushrooms, so mushrooms are just going to go really well with the potatoes, give that lovely earthy character. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my potatoes and leaving behind the sauce, I'm going to take out the potatoes. I'm going to add them then into our casserole dish. And we're going to add our middle layer, which is our mushrooms. I'm just going to fill all the space that I see, mixing and matching the different varieties. And all I'm going to do to the mushrooms, because they're going to cook in the actual casserole, I'm going to add a touch of salt, and they'll enjoy a nice flick of black pepper. And all I do is I top it up with our final few layers of potato, just like so. So once that's done, all I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit more of my sauce and I'm going to add that carefully into our gratin dish. We're just going to help it along the way by taking a little bit of Parmesan cheese and grate that all across the top of the gratin. So all I do at this point is I take our casserole dish and place it in the oven, 200 degrees for about 45 minutes. At this point now I have one that we prepared earlier. So here it is, it's the finalised potato and mushroom gratin. A really fantastic, tasty and indulgent way to showcase both our potatoes and our variety of mushrooms. To find out more about these and other great potato recipes, go to potato.ie.